We learn a lot during our first roles as sales managers, but you've had a lot of success. And one of the reasons I believe is one, you're very smart and you pick up quickly, but your philosophy and approach to being prepared for coaching conversations. Can you share a little bit of that with the audience? Yeah, absolutely. I definitely feel like I get better throughout experiences and really just trial and error in different yeah. scenarios and walking into it. But I do spend a lot of time in preparing for meetings or conversations that I'm about to have. And I feel like that helps the outcome get to a place that's beneficial for all. I also have all my sales leaders underneath me within my organization also do that with their respective teams. If they have a big customer meeting, you know, let's do a dry run. What is the demo going to look like? What slides are we going to present and put it back on the broader team to who's going to be responsible for what, but preparing for that in advance, which is key. That's fantastic. In most cases, preparation is the key to success. Margo, what would you say to a sales leader? Because all of us have probably heard this, whether it's from a sales rep or we've heard it from sales leaders. I don't have time to prepare for coaching calls. You're really busy. How do you make the time? How do you find the time? Well, I've always been very, very adamant about my calendar and what I spend time doing. I really like to work backwards, right? So I like to put everything on the calendar that's customer facing and then work backwards towards the date that is approaching for that customer interaction. I also have been a fan of really just putting 15 minute meetings on the calendar. I don't know who decided it has to be 30 minutes, but if you have a 30 minute customer meeting or an hour long customer meeting, the preparation doesn't have to be 30 minutes or an hour. It could be 15 minutes just to run through the high level agenda of what you're gonna cover. I also like the utilization of the tools that we have access to. So at Salesforce, we acquired Slack. So we use mm -hmm. Slack in a lot of our interactions and we can communicate via Slack in preparation for something as well. Share some documents, maybe a slide deck where you can assign tasks and say, hey, these people will take on this part of the deck, but I've at least created a hollow framework to then put some of the other content in. So part of that preparation too is just someone initiating even the initial deck. It might not be all ready for prime time and for the right. customer interaction, but here's at least the deck to start inserting some of the content into. Well, it sounds like you've got preparation down pat. So how do you coach your team to be like you? That's also very humbling because in order to get into the role that I'm in at Salesforce, my leaders and sponsors and people that had advocated for me being in this role did have a lot of concerns about that, right? Typically as the top producing salesperson, right. you have a method to the madness. You want everyone to do it your way. You're used to being the quarterback. And you go into a role that's more of a coach from the sidelines, cheering people on, encouraging when necessary. So for me, it's less about me and my success and the approach that works for me, because really there is no other Margot Idris in the world. I am very unique. I take a unique approach to what I do. I'm overly positive. I insert humor <laughs> and fun you know, anecdotes about my kids or whatever I'm passionate about in my work, but that doesn't work for everyone. So you have to just lead with your authentic self and bring the best version of yourself to every interaction in order to achieve that same success. Even if you're not as positive, maybe you're a little bit more brutally honest, you know, and maybe you have a dry sense of humor and that is your thing. Maybe you don't have kids, but you have a dog or a cat that you're really passionate about and can talk about that for hours and connect with people on that level. Whatever it is, you have to find that thing and connect with others in a similar way in order to advance the same goal. 